Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. Let's take a look in the gold market. So it seems that the gold was the strongest reaction among all other markets. It's because in the forex market you could see no actual reaction on recent data. But maybe on the gold market this is also not the reaction on the data but just pure technical action. Just because market has reached, as we said, monthly overbought area. And we have expected that uh, it should be downside reaction. And besides, it has completed few targets and patterns on lower time frame. So currently performance stands absolutely like in a textbook, which is really great. Uh, once we said that 1940, uh, 1950 area is a point where we have to close the long positions and start watching for other trading setups, immediately market has turned down. So on a daily chart, currently we do not have any bullish patterns, bullish directional patterns from the Jadnapoli. Trend has turned bearish on a daily chart. It means that for trading on the intraday charts, we have the bearish context and for a trade on a daily chart. So currently we are not considering taking any long positions by far. Uh, with the personal downward targets that market could reach, of course today it's already late to speak about it, it's just because of Friday, but probably somewhere in the beginning of the next week we will, considering, we, we will, be cons we will consider uh, areas of the 1870, this conference support, and everything what stands above, it's just because of the daily oversold area. So this level, well, relatively, cl relatively close to the overbought, oh, sorry, oversold. Uh, that prob that's why we probably could uh, take it into consideration. But all, but all other things that stand below, well, it's where it's not interesting right now. And correspondingly, among the targets, it obviously seems that on a daily chart we could get somewhere around 19 even, uh, 1890 area where uh, oversold and the trend line. So market theoretically could first probably would trying to reach this level but at the same time we could say that on the intraday charts downside action is not really very fast it is gradual um, which is nice for position taking and suggests that probably it might be just a retracement not necessarily it will be some reversal or something of that sort still trend has turned bearish the upside channel that we discussed yesterday also has been broken just confirms the bearish scenario so in here you could act actually differently where i don't know whether you would like to take position today or not maybe today it makes not big sense to do this but in general you could uh, either use minor patterns uh, on the slope of the downward action try and take position for example take a look recent recently a few hours ago so we will get nice looking uh, gartley steeple to sell here this abcd pullback very close to the 618 level and then market starts reestablish downward action it's one of the way how to act so just trying to catch the pullbacks uh, to the fib levels and control the um, that the daily trend remains bearish or alternatively you could watch for patterns for example obviously here you could consider either i don't know maybe minor uh, head and shoulders here once market will hit uh, 1814 1815 area right there starts up reduction you could try to take the short position trying to catch maybe this uh head and shoulders or later it might be larger head and shoulders actually as based on the butterfly wow three drive passion right so butterflies very often becomes the part of the hand shoulders because of the ratio so here's one six one eight ratio to the head and the butterfly extension is also one six one eight and that's another pattern that potentially might be formed if later market has dropped to the 1890. Uh, take a look at both of those levels as 1950 as 1890 both stands above daily oversold area so both of these patterns potentially might be formed on the next week so here is we have the wide uh, ability um, to trade and uh, use different steps for trading um, that's actually what we have currently so we probably could consider bullish position but bullish positions bullish patterns on the intraday charts 
because monthly our, our bond area will not prevent to the market to return back to the top for example and if you will see and some some uh, bullish pattern um, it, it might it could be traded but unfortunately we can't consider currently bullish uh, positions on the high time frames so on the daily and above just because they're directly confronted to the monthly rebound level so um, let's taking a look at the current actions stands not really very fast and it's choppy a bit it seems that sentiment overall stands bullish and the traders are not actually have the intention to start massive sell-off so most, most traders probably will so chance to take a long position and that's why uh, most probable that we will get not the direct downside action but some kind of the minor patterns on the low time frames um, short term nearest ending targets downside targets and mostly it will be looking like some big consolidation probably uh, with the minor patterns inside so it's most probable um, price behavior that probably we will get uh, on the gold market in the nearest well maybe even nearest weeks because monthly our but it will not uh, come really fast so we need some time to get we need to, to give some time into the market to and just uh, let our bot to abandon the, the market so that's what we have uh, on the gold so let's see and let's watch for the patterns that we will get